thing if I say wind trace seekers and strategy has finally arrived what? yes at at i love wind trace and and yeah it can get a little tense at times <laughs> well that the new name implies that the game has undergone some mechanics changes yeah yeah you're correct that's very intuitive of you Thank yeah you. you'll be playing hide and seek as rebels and hunters just like before but there are a few new rules Ooh. Yeah, when rebels are captured for the first time, they'll be exiled to the surveillance zone for a short period of time. Now, they will be automatically freed after their time out, but also their friends can try to help them escape the zone early. But if you get sent to jail twice, you're permanently deleted from the game. <gasps> oh, that does sound tense and thrilling. <laughs> right? And that's not all. Oh no, each round will have six signaling devices, which will prevent nearby rebels from disguising or concealing themselves. The rebel's goal is to repair these devices while also avoiding capture. Once they repair four devices, they win the match. Oh, and rebels can work together to repair these devices. And hunters will either need to prevent the rebels from repairing the signaling devices, or they can simply eliminate their opponents. If you team up with friends, then watching these games should be a blast. <laughs> ah, she gets it. She gets it. But the next part is even more thrilling. When rebels are fixing a signaling device, the device being repaired will enter the high-speed signaling state. What does it mean? It means it'll give off a light visible by every player in the area. In fact, the device will even be marked on the minimap. Ooh, okay. So that means that repairing the devices will expose your location. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's these sort of unexpected risks that can be the most nerve-wracking. Mm -hmm. This is going to be super interesting to play. Yeah. yeah.